Welcome to the course, Digital Storytelling. My name is Luca Peskoretz. Okay, so masking again, I'll just show you quickly. Um, and for that, I actually want to use maybe some other images. So ah, maybe uh, let's use some concrete. I have some concrete here, uh, maybe some nice dirty concrete, maybe something like this. Okay, this is a great concrete. This goes in. And then another one is maybe this one or this one. Okay, maybe something like this one here I really like, concrete B. Uh, concrete B bump diff. Okay, so that's a diffusion map. You put it in here. Okay, so I'll just kind of show you quickly um, how to do this. So I can actually just maybe go here, save as. I will just save it under uh, tutorials, session two, material texturing, and I'll just save it as PSD. And I can also give you this file later. Um, oh man, Photoshop here. Okay. One, 1103. Mm, texturing, text. To ring, and then uh, I will call it a uh, mask layer. Okay. Okay. So um, this is now a background, and uh, I would like maybe background to be completely empty, and I want this to be sort of a layer. So I can go uh, uh, Control A, Control X. Now I have a white background, and Control Paste, and uh, Concrete One. Okay. Okay. There's again a question in chat. Ah, chat. I lost the chat. I can't see the chat. <laughs> um, I apologize. Somehow my chat is lost. Ah, here. Yeah. Will you share the material textures in the my courses? Yes, I will. Uh, I will, but uh, because there's so many of them and they're ordered, I, I will, I will put them in the materials somewhere, and I will um, inform either next time or you can kind of find it. So, how can I see the pixels in the image? Okay, let's let's actually answer this first. This um, this masking. Okay, so I have um, my concrete uh, one is here, and there's that kind of background here. Okay, now I will take uh, this concrete number two, copy, Control C, and here I can go paste. Okay, so they are the same size, so they kind of overlay quite nicely. And here I will call it concrete two. Um, Okay, and now I want to use um, I want to use, for example, um, I want to use another image as a mask. Uh, and how do I do that? So I can maybe uh, I can, I'll create a new layer, new layer here, and I'll call it you know mask layer. Okay, and mask layer I will just use um, I will use a paint bucket here. And I'll make everything black. Oh, this is not black. So here, change the color to black. Okay, so I will make everything black. And now I will I will draw I will draw something here. So I will kind of go with uh, I think I can draw with white. Or so I'm just creating a mask layer. Maybe it's a, some kind of circle, um, something like this. And I will fill it up with again paint bucket here. Let's make it back here. Okay something like this. So this is now my mask layer. Now this mask, what this mask layer does, it basically says whatever is black will not um, will not be shown and whatever is white will be will remain or this is my mask layer. And, um, and I will add this mask layer onto this concrete tool. So I go here, I select concrete tool, I go here, add mask layer or add layer mask, hop. And um, I have to copy paste this image. So it's a black and white image, but again, it can be gray, it can be grayscale image um, copy. And I can then remove it from here as well. And now I have to go into mask here, I have to go under channels, here mask, preview it, and I have to paste it. Okay. So now everything that was black becomes kind of red, uh, which means it will not be shown and everything that is, um, Everything that was white will will kind of will be left here. Or so that's now my mask layer, and 
if I go back here, I hope you can see kind of what sort of happened. Or so now the this image was kind of cut off. Or so this mask uh, we used it as a basically cutting stencil for this image here. That's why the lower image is um, at, or the image that was on the top is basically everything is cut out and there's just this circle here that is left. Okay, I hope this is this is kind of the best that I could um, that I could explain. Let me just actually I just realize something uh, I can maybe add, you know, I can try just to quickly add a shadow here or so I can um, uh, maybe uh, select this object one selection up. I can just kind of um, I use this uh, circle selection, remove it here, go underneath, go down, and now I just want to add a shadow. I think you can add shadow directly in some other ways, but for example, I can just kind of, um, I can use burn tool here to sort of, uh, maybe I go here to shadows and actually, no, not shadows, mid-tones, mid-tones, and I'm just gonna add kind of a sort of a shadow here just again again there, there are a few ways that you can do shadows but okay now it kind of looks a little bit like a shadow or something like that um and um yeah that's it let me just save this so i hope this kind of explained a little bit um uh use with the mask and of course this mask can be anything um can be anything so i can use for example a photograph for it um let's actually Let's try to do that as well. So let's find, um, you know, a good photograph, maybe uh, Marlon Brando. Okay, let's find Mr. Brando. Here he is, black and white image, very handsome guy. Uh, maybe we use a picture like this. Okay, perfect. Save as image. So here, I'm just gonna go uh, digital storytelling, tutorials, two. Material texture, and I'll, this is kind of called just my own Brando. Okay, I will save it. Perfect. Now let's go back here, texture and mask layer. Let's have another version of this mask layer Brando. Okay, so let's let's kind of re re redo this. Uh, this mask layer we can just delete, I think. Okay, uh, this is my shadow. <laughs> Actually, let's let's retrace everything. Uh, this one we delete, this mask layer we delete, okay? And um, mm, concrete, mm -hmm. we have to add this one here, Hop, copy, paste, this is my concrete too. I think I maybe retraced a bit too much, okay? And, um, and now we will add Brando inside. All right, you see, here he is. Add him quickly here. And uh, let me check a little bit the levels. Okay, maybe change the levels a little bit, uh, something like this, or expose. Okay. Control copy. Okay, and we paste it here. And let's um, yeah, let's kind of just adjust it so that it kind of goes over everything. With Alt, you can just center it well. Okay, perfect. Okay, and now um, this is just going to be my mask. So for this concrete layer, so I can just also I can copy this, um, copy this guy, put the mask layer here, go under channels, turn on and paste. Okay, paste, go back here, turn this off. So turn this off. Okay, and now it's a bit hard to see. But uh, basically, Brando now became Brando. Brando became a mask, uh, which is kind of cutting away this um, this sort of first concrete layer, and we see the the bottom one exposed. Or and if I want to get the uh, the opposite effect, I have to go to channels here, and I think I can invert this. Ah, here you can see it a little bit. I can invert it. I think I go under again uh, image adjustments invert and now I get the opposite effect or should be the opposite effect layers okay so you know I kind of created um 
anyway, it's now brand, you know, there are two types of concrete and they, uh, they sort of merged in order to create this image. So this is just type concrete type one, concrete type two. And um, there's also all the shading is kind of uh, preserved there. Okay, so that's a little bit kind of with masks so we can create uh, different different blends. 